Hi, um, my name is Nikunj and I am a software developer, mainly working with Java. And recently I had a very nice experience with MongoDB and I just wanted to share three of the few of the highlights of my findings and I found out how easy it is to run the MongoDB instances in a replica set. Um, so um, normally in the enterprise environments it is like this that uh, the database instances are running on different machines and they if we have configured them to run on cluster on replica set then one of them becomes primary and the others becomes secondary um, and for now as I do not have any I do not have many machines available right now I will just demonstrate how we can configure a replica set locally on my machine by running more than one MongoDB instances on different ports so what I have done is I have just copied the MongoDB configuration and by the way let us assume that uh, MongoDB is already in installed on your machine and configurations are properly done the only changes which I have done is I copied the MongoDB configuration which is by default provided with the MongoDB installation and made changes uh, in each of them as for the example on mongodb1 configuration i change the log path i chase change the database path and i change the port number from default 27017 to 18 and most important thing because i want to run uh, more than one instance in cluster i just um, uh, or replica set I enable this parameter called ripple set and give it a name as for the example in this case rs nidosh and this name remains same in each instance which wants which wants which one want, wants to join the replica set okay so then let's go for it um, let us first check out if any MongoDB instances are already running. <clears throat> okay, so as I see, no, there is no instance running. So let us start one by one, all of them. Okay, so this is how I will start my MongoDB instance using mongodb1 configuration file which will start the mongodb instance on port number 27018 naturally to ask for the password yeah successfully it has started this instance let's check yes the same in the same way i will run the other instances okay let's check if all all of them are running yes they do so let me now connect to the one of the instance by port let us say the first instance is running at port number 18 I mean 27018 yes it is and let's check out if there is already replica set enabled by RS status and as we see no it is not we have to initiate the replica set by rs initiate so let us initiate the replica set oh sorry okay that has done the first step and added this instance into the replica set let's check out the status of replica set 
So as we see, the replica state, replica set R as Nirdosh is created and the member currently is the one, this is the same instance, currently I am logged in and uh, this instance is primary instance because there is only one instance running and we want to add the another instances as well to this replica set they are all running parallelly we just need to add them to this replica set and for that we need to know the host name of those instances as here and how do I find out that so let's open a new tab and let's log in to the instance uh, which we want to add to our replica set so this I will do with the port the another instances are running on port number 270192021 so uh, how do I find out which what is the ho host name of that that instance it's simply with db dot server status yes it gives us much more information but we are in we are interested only in host name so that is this and I just want to add this instance also to my replica set I just copy it and on the primary primary is the one who is also doing all administrative operations uh, like adding a new member to the replica set so from here let's find out which help which commandos are available as we see there is an option to add a new member from the name of that member so let us add the one which we are we want to add like this and it says okay it means it is successfully added let's check out the status as we can see there are already two status the state of the second member is still unknown because the replica set is doing some calculation it should be in few minutes it should change to second member. until then we can add another members so let's do that 20 okay yes 21 okay yes and I think we also have 22 yes all of them are added let's check out the status of our replica set yes they are getting configured and the status of them are still unknown which on the full migration will change to one primary and other secondary <clears throat> that's how we have configured our replica set and thank you very much for observing this video and in my next video I will discuss how to access this replica set through as for the example a Java client and read out few properties if you are still interested in watching such technical videos um, I am planning to upload few more videos and I would recommend to sus subscribe to my channel and in future you will also come to know more interesting technical things which I have come across and which I have found out thank you very much bye bye